Thank you for watching the Santa Cruz Silver Mining presentation. Uh, throughout this presentation, I'll be making some forward-looking statements. The company is right now in a position um, where um, we have been consolidating our growth uh, throughout 2020. The company will be producing over 4.5 million ounces of silver equivalent uh, with all in sustain, uh, aiming to reach uh, uh, below $16 by Q1 2021. And uh, throughout the next year, uh, we expect uh, an additional increase in our production, as well as uh, our cost uh, improvement, uh, as I was pointing out, targeting uh, all in sustain in the neighborhood of $16 and uh, 15, $15 to $16 all in sustain. And uh, with the production forecast for 2021 uh, in the neighborhood of 5 million ounces of silver equivalent. The company, um, its um, management uh, holds around 13%, 15% of the company, which uh, definitely makes us uh, very committed uh, to keep building this company. We are honored to count with uh, strong uh, shareholders as Palisades Skull Corp, Sprout Asset Management, US Global, just to mention some of our strong uh, shareholders. Management and board of directors uh, are um, very seasonal uh, and, and business oriented uh, people with a lot of experience in the mining industry as Carlos Silva, our CEO. He has been uh, working for uh, major companies in Mexico and uh, has been in senior roles uh, for more than 30 years. Uh, Carlos Silva is uh, our CEO, and um, he was founder of a Carrizal Mining Company, which in, in year 2010 uh, executed an, uh, a lease agreement with uh, Peñoles to run the Simapan Mine. And as you further uh, will see further in, in our presentation, since he took over that mine, uh, the mine has been increasing production year over year. And uh, we believe that will be the case again in 2021. The company has two mines, the Simapan mine located in Hidalgo uh, and the Rosario mine located in San Luis Potosí. Both jurisdictions are uh, very safe jurisdictions and, uh, and very mining oriented jurisdictions with the uh, labor uh, on hand and, and also uh, knowledgeable of the underground mining. Uh, the Simapan mine is uh, a mine that um, for Santa Cruz is uh, becoming a transformative e event, a transaction where um, we are buying these assets from uh, Peñoles, one of uh, the major mining companies here in Mexico. This is a mine with a long history of uh, production and uh, for the last 10 years with an increased production year over year, as you can see in this uh, slide. The mine has a lot of history and it was discovered by the Spanish miners since uh, in 1575. Uh, the geology, it's a geology that uh, definitely uh, has all the boxes for a significant deposit. Uh, we need to keep uh, doing exploration as, uh, as we believe that uh, will be uh, increasing the mine life of this property and, and, and the resources uh, here. We have uh, two mines feeding one mill, the Carrizal mine and the Mina Monte. Both mines have um, uh, stock works, um, chimneys, and um, these are kind of, a, of a geology and deposits that um, are high volume. Uh, you can mine them on their uh, long, uh, all blastings and, uh, and, and it's very interesting at both mines. The rock is really competent, uh, what makes them uh, very likely, I mean, to advance and, uh, and prepare these mines without uh, the need of a uh, shot quitting or reinforcing it as you keep advancing, which make it uh, cost efficient uh, and at the same time uh, relatively rapid to keep advancing and, and, and moving along. Uh, those uh, characteristics make these mines high volumes, mine, high volume mines, and, uh, and we're trying to 
increase production here at both uh, of these mines by 2021 and taking uh, the milling capacity to full uh, capacity of 75,000 tons a month. At that time, uh, this uh, asset should be producing around 5.8 to 6 million ounces silver equivalent on a yearly basis. We're very excited at Simapan because uh, we have identified a significant upside potential from an exploration point of view. Lomo del Toro is a high grade historic mine, a producer uh, where uh, silver head grades are in the north of 400 grams of silver. Uh, the mine was uh, halted and uh, was never uh, uh, open uh, until recently. Uh, the last four months we have done some tour low exploration in the property and we have now a drilling campaign. Uh, we have identified very interesting uh, areas now. We want to prepare this mine and, and do a very thorough low exploration so that we can start uh, mining starting next year, uh, 4,000 tons a month and finishing by Q2 uh, mining around 15,000 tons a month from uh, Domo del Toro. This mine will be a sweetener for uh, Simapan where head grades are significantly higher than uh, what today uh, we're meeting. The property or the mine, uh, the Simapan mine holds uh, the IRMA standard for responsible mining. This is the first mine in North America to achieve the IRMA standard. We're very proud of this award. This award, uh, it's, a, it's a seal of a, uh, or a recognition for the company uh, in, in, in terms of uh, the social responsibility with the local communities, with the business partners, uh, whether mine or the company in Mexico does uh, or has any business relationship. It also uh, performs a transparency audit, uh, which uh, endorses our uh, administrative practices in, in a way that um, we operate in, in a transparent manner for our investors and our business uh, partners. The mine has as well uh, an, an environmental uh, seal, which is called the Industria Limpia. It's, uh, it's an environmental recognition by Profepa, uh, the federal Mexican attorney for environmental matters, which recognize that the company uh, is complying uh, above to what the Mexican environmental standards are required. Uh, so we're very pleased and honored to have these both uh, uh, awards within the company. That's pretty much for Simapan. We have now uh, in this slide, uh, the Rosario mine, which is in Charca, San Luis Potosí. Rosario is a small mine, which ha we have been exploring and working throughout the last few years. We finally arrived to Membrillo uh, mine. The, our target here, uh, the blocks that we have identified uh, are now um, within the production budget and uh, we're just starting to increase production at Rosario. We're targeting our full capacity by the end of Q1 2021 and closing this year on Q4 at 400, uh, 400 tons per, per day. The mine now in the month of October and November from Kiron, the mine is now uh, cash flow positive and we uh, expect to increase production uh, throughout the next coming months um, to make it um, um, an important cash flow producer for, for the company. We have now different stop, stop, uh, stops uh, prepared for production uh, and, and, and this will allow us to keep growing uh, production for the next uh, few months and achieving full production by the end of Q1 at uh, 500 tons per day. We have arrived into those blocks that we have identified through past uh, or historic drilling uh, activities where we expect to see silverhead grades increase 
280 grams uh, per ton and um, zinc in the neighborhood of uh, two and a half to three percent with lead at 1.2 percent and at some traces of gold uh, at, at, at some areas with a uh, half a gram of gold which uh, will make this um, a very interesting uh, cat flu producer not not a big one as uh, simapan but nonetheless an interesting cat flu producer with still uh, an upside potential as we keep exploring the membrillo vein along strike to the north and south we have also identified different uh, veins additional to to membrillo the san rafael the san jose veins which we believe um, will keep giving us uh, additional mine life in, in Rosario. Our growing production profile um, for this year and, and the next year, uh, we expect uh, to keep uh, increasing production organically at both mines and, uh, and, and reaching a full capacity in 2024 where uh, we should be producing north of the 4.6 million ounces silver equivalent with an all-in sustain uh, in the neighborhood of $16 to $15 uh, per silver equivalent ounce. The catalysts that we think are the most important right now, it's uh, to complete uh, the agreement on, with Peñoles to finalize the purchase of these uh, Simapan assets, to return the mining to historical production levels, to focus on the areas uh, that we have identified already for uh, exploration, Lomo del Toro being the most important, with very high grade, uh, uh, silver high grades in, in, in the area, in the property. And for Rosario, um, our objective will be to make sure that we can reach the 400 tons per day and, and, and actually by Q1 next year, get into 500 tons per day, which will be full capacity for the mine and continue doing the exploration and, uh, and drilling as we can uh, increase production in the next coming years and, and, and also to increase the life of mine. From a corporate point of view, um, we own a participation in, 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 in Zacateca Silver. It's a private company that uh, soon will be listed in in the TSX venture. That company has been, it's founded by um, the same team that uh, run K92 Mining and Forsterville, two very successful stories. So we believe uh, we eventually are going to capitalize on this uh, interesting investment. The Zacatecas uh, Mining District is a, it's a really strong and, and important mining district here in, in the country. With no more um, things to add, um, I kindly, I, I, I thank you very much for taking the time to see our presentation. And I look forward to eventually discuss any matters uh, or any details with you.